Hey folks, Quilly Bean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European of Styles 4. It is Savory Savoy, um, and we, in the last episode, went and va force vassalized Milan. We also integrated uh, Ferrara over here. We've got Colonialism is spreading. Um, oh right, I forgot my maintenance is still down. Uh, I was going to hit a button to, um, uh, to seize some more land, which is going to upset the nobles. Um, so we're just going to make sure our troops are up before that happens. I may actually, yeah, let's bring our forts up too, because if they happen to spawn on a fort, it'd be really, really annoying for us to have to retake it. So we'll give them yeah, at least a monthly tick. I'm going to center up over here. Heretics. I'm going to wait for one more tick. There. And... These land. Oh, only 6k. <laughs> okay. I mean, that was 33, right? But we'd still be okay here with 31. Yeah, alright, I can park here. In fact, the 33, I could probably bring all my troops together. Well, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll bring all my troops together over here. With the maneuver from here, we shouldn't be getting attrition. Royal marriage with Austria is done. I think we want to maintain this. Not a great consort, but hey, at least we've got one. How you doing, Milan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of modifiers are burning off simultaneously. Declare war, was at war, annexed vassal, aggressive expansion, but they're all burning off at the same time. Okay, we're no longer a great power. That's fine. Oh, uh, merge up so you don't get attrition. And drop the forts. And it doesn't matter if I have maintenance up or not, since I'm going to be drilling over here. Either way, I got to pay for those troops. Either way, their morale goes down. Liberty desire is only 70%. Now, I don't know if we'll get it below 50 before, um, before the truce runs out, and that might cause people to support independence. But Austria is starting a war against Bergens. Bergens part of the Empire. Brunswick will protect them. Is Bergens a, like, free city? Because Austria is part of the Empire as well. Yeah, I will accept. Drilling auto stops, which is nice. I'll just hang out here still, though. I mean, I've got... There, I see. Um, I've got manpower, so it's not like I'm worried too much about being attrition down. But it also costs more money to reinforce, you know, injured troops, so we may want to avoid it. The ability is currently disloyal. They'll get over it. What's their natural resting point? Yeah. About 56%. And yeah, there's not much, uh, I mean, there's a little bit of stuff going on here with, um, with you. I can't imagine Austria not being able to just kick their ass, though. Yeah, no. I can probably just stay here. I could probably start drilling, but I'm not gonna. I could do this. I'm gonna wait. I might. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm still ahead of time. For every year that goes by, 10% of this will go away. We'll gain 1% here, but it's a 9% gain, so there's I could just wait since I'm not about to be capped. And the thing is, the cost embrace has gotten low. Oh, it's spread to Torino already. Nice. And actually, it's going to pop the very least in Cuneo before we keep going. And actually, well, Mo Modena, well, that was short. Oh, that was just a separate piece. Okay, yeah, it's still going to be short, though. Yeah, so the price will go down a scooch, so we'll just wait to do that save a couple of bucks, because there's no reason for us to hurry. Um, for embracing it, what do we get? We do get the trade modifier whenever we embrace it, so I mean there could be some argument for not waiting too long there, but it's not a big deal. I'm actually wondering about doing this. we will probably win the siege before I get there, though. Oh, they didn't win it on that tick. Might just help end the war a little sooner. They didn't win it on that one. We actually might stop them. They're ticking pretty quickly, but no, I think we'll be okay. Okay, we can embrace. Um, it did go there. Yeah, it's not about to pop anywhere here, so I'll go ahead and embrace now. There we go, we still want to wait on this. We'll come back home, that's fine, it'll cost us a little bit- Oh, I was gonna say, I think we're just having to take a loan, that sucks. 
and it was just because of the maintenance on these dudes that sent us over the top. I could have, maybe I would have wanted to wait a couple of months before I embraced just to have a bit more of a buffer in the bank, but oh well. Alone's not going to kill us. Education for the poor. Innovativeness, influence, some unrest, but dev cost discount. Yeah, we can do this. This is okay. Can I change my state policies? Uh, not abandoned state. Four years. Yeah, I think as long as one year goes by, we're okay, right? I don't think there's anything we need to push here. We're not doing dev cost, manpower. No, we can probably just save money by running nothing. Plus, this doesn't start a cooldown. I can run another edict right away. Done. I'm going to chill over there. Um, we can probably start drilling again. And lower our forts. Doo -doo -doo. How you doing, Milan? Positive. Disloyal. That's true. Disloyal, but, I mean, getting better. 64% and burning away real fast. And you can see it's got the minus 5% from the same ruling dynasty. It still has a positive thing because, you know, I forced them. But I think it's going to be okay. I might want to just leave this guy here. Nah. I can also uh, placate, but it won't quite make it there. Once we get to like 59%, I can hit the button, bring them below 50. They'll no longer be disloyal. Truce is ending. We still have the one with Milan. Yeah, for quite some time, so that's going to be okay. Whoop. Okay. Rise of a Pretender. Uh, You... Don't drill. Oh, you can't drill because you're dead. You're gonna... 23 are gonna spawn over here. Let's get there first. You dead. New duck. It's not too bad. Air's really unfantastic. Yeah, pending events. I'm only 15 as well. Jeez. But yeah, we may want to boot you. Oh, we don't have the same dynasty as Milan anymore. Are you kidding me? I also want to let these guys win to switch dynasties, but no. No, th this is fine. Um, I'll just pay for a regular general. Who's all maneuver? Yeah, he's not great, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, that's rotten luck. France, are we remarrying you? I think we are. We don't want to mess with France yet. Good consort. Oh, you're not actually dead. It's too big. Um, there we go. Peace is at hand. Favors. Merc companies' innovativeness is decreasing. Um, oh, there we go. We can go ahead absolutely and pump both these guys up. Lovely. Lovely different ships not necessarily I don't know well we've got some cash I wonder how up to date these guys are park them for a sec we'll do yeah this is fine too um Oh, first of all, the galleys can go over there. That's fine. And then, I guess with this, we'll split you in half. I'll upgrade one half of you guys. Merge you back up. And we'll do some more upgrading later. Okay, that's going to be fine. Um, oh, superior unit types, right? We've got niggets and cannons. Boom. Um... Yeah, I mean, you mostly do fire damage anyway. We'll do that. Plus, everyone loves morale pips. You need to be mothballed and then merged. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll do the rest of the ships. 
a little bit later. Grand Captain went away. Hmm. Plus two. Yeah, we'll just... We can afford the level ones in our budget. We'll do that for points. I mean, not that morale is bad. Uh, oh, we could have gone for plus one advisors before picking the dude, but it doesn't matter. Um, we do need to move up on admin. Because, well, we're ahead of time over here, but we'd be out of sync if we didn't. How big deal is the next one? Um, plus one advisors. Right, no, that's now, yeah. Plus one advisor, after that institution spread. Oh, actually, we're not in a hurry for that. We're not in a hurry for this. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I will get the scythe next. Just to not fall behind so much in admin and be out of uh, out of sync over there. Um, right, you're still all man or all maneuver, but that's still a little too low on force limit. But yeah, we can hang out in Luca. That seems okay. And mostly what we have to do for a while was we have to we have to go back to sitting and waiting for our aggressive expansion to trim down. Um well, I mean it's only bad with like some with smaller nations. So I mean we might be able to mess with it, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't see there were transports in there. Did I spend some money upgrading them? Uh oh. That would be annoying. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab this. That's a lot of money. Um. We wanted min, though. I still have a loan to repay as well. I think I am gonna grant aid. I wonder if I want to... You know what? I think I like this idea. Um... Oh, did we never repay? Oh, no, there they are. I'm going to take the 5 times 1% loans. Because 1% isn't too bad. We'll grant aid. We'll get the rest of the ships upgrading. Um, we can become a defender of the faith. I mean, it's pretty strong. I think we got better things to do with our money, though. Um, what I want to do is I want to make sure to repay the 4% interest loan here. Um, we have it for a while still, though. Now, you know what? Hold on. Because you don't save money by repaying them early. People are always saying that, but you don't save money by repaying them early. You still have to pay all the interest. Um... There we go. I like that. Done, done, done. Okay. A little bit of money left over. You, Mothball, group up over here. Starting to have enough ships that we could potentially do something with Cypress or something later on. I wonder if we can find ourselves in a war with the Mamluks and get a truce. Well, the truce wouldn't cover that, no. But if the Mamluks found themselves in a bigger war... They're fighting the Ottomans right now. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, what is this? Deforce. Oh, is, is she a heretic? Ten years of national unrest, or... Piss off France, divorce, lose thing. They're kind of both bad. I don't know. Well, uh... How dare they? They're both pretty poor, though. Still above our naval force limit, uh, but I'm okay with it. At least once the ships get out trading, it's going to be okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. I thought, is it red because of reason? No, they're all color-coded. Just the red looks like there's a bad stuff going on right now. Like, what What did I do? Um, Marketplaces. Yeah, nothing too terribly impressive. Uh, naval supply. Yeah, we need, we want more force limit. That's actually going to be really good. So let's start on that. Uh, we can summon the Diet again. I don't think there's any reason why we wouldn't. Base tax 13 in Genova. Modena wants a manufactory. I mean, at some point, yeah. 
got room for it. The cow's not great. You do have a fair amount of this. Um, it's expensive. Ma have manufactory. Interesting. Gain manpower. Prospecting. Hmm. Or have Diplo Rep 1, which is going to happen. You know what? I'll take this. It's going to happen as soon as our Annex Vassal things goes away. Yeah, and that's going to be all right. Rebel Uprising, Heavy Yard, Nobility. This is fine. Um, what I should do is stop you from drilling. And then maybe I'll just let you pop. I'll like, I'll, I'll force it. Break a steel. I'll just get the full manpower and then yeah, I'll uh, provoke them. If they haven't triggered already. States, we've got nothing too impressive there. Milan still currently disloyal. Okay. Revoke, revoke. 20 regiments. Over there. We don't have an amazing general. Except for the maneuver part. A siege specialist. That'll be useful when we're in a real war again. Park ourselves in Luca. It's not a very safe place, but I think it's going to be fine. Money's going down currently, I think, because of the reloading of these dudes, but overall our finances should be fine. Our ships are back out at sea. Yeah, there we go. Money's fine. People making their religious decisions. Coffee boom. Ah. I've actually just finished my coffee for the morning. All right, well, what do we have next happening here? Well, again, we're still waiting for the AE to burn away. Um... We don't currently have claims on Burgundy. I think I'm going to rebuild over here. So if we take a look at our permanent claims, not quite a lot. It'd be great to keep pushing over here. We don't have stuff over here yet. What kind of mission might we want to pursue next? I don't know. Capture Venice. What's the reward here? Bunch of points. Okay. Um, protect our trade. This pisses off Naples. I don't really care about them. Sure. Theologian died. We could use the inflation reduction. We actually have a, a bit of inflation. Yeah, that sounds good. And I'd rather not spend a min to lower it. Although if I was at two points of inflation, I would hit the button. No Venetian trade league. Sure, fine. That's okay. Oh, that's a lot of tax. Um, a young female tributor called Camila del Torre won fame across Europe for unconventional music. Was invited to perform at court. She, she's a rapper. Uh, sight of her costume prompted the entire room to gra gasp. Her songs had countless instances of thinly disguised innuendo in reference to unconventional sex acts. At one point, the Archbishop turned scarlet and stormed out of the room. Performance concluded, all eyes turned to you to express your response. Provocative and mesmerizing commentary on romance and gender in contemporary society. So give us prestige. It would give us a half-price level one person. Or ridiculous trash for stupid people. Um, prestige is good. Half price advisor is nice, although the stability cost modifier. Oh, actually, we don't have it, but it would. I think it would replace this one over here. So I'm going to say ridiculous trash for stupid people for the admin power. Um, but I will go and boost the stability. I'd forgotten about. Good, good, good. Okay, you're back there. You're drilling there. There's some rebels, but barely so. So that's fine. Um, at some point, we do have to pay back those loans. What I might do is I might wait here. And make sure I, I repay this one. So 181. What's based on remaining interest as well. So I think I'll, I'll make sure that that gets paid off. Because it comes due sometime in 21. I'll make sure that gets paid off. So we don't renew our 4% interest loan. Assuming we can get there. I don't know exactly what date it uh, it refreshes on. It was on the other screen. I can't be bothered to reload it. I mean, come on. Ooh, sweating sickness. Lose stability. Lose a shit ton of money, which I need. Uh, lose Diplo Power, which, that's a lot of Diplo Power, but I'm so far ahead. Is this effectively lose Admin Power? Basically about 100. Um, so I'd rather lose Diplo. I think the Diplo might be worth a little bit more than the amount of money there, like in a normal situation. But for right now, I think this was our better choice. Drill, skill improvement, that's good. Great Advisor goes, which is going to cut into my repay my loan thing. Austria keeps going crazy. I'm going to say yes. 
I'm also going to repay this loan before it comes due. We'll want an advisor in a sec. Stay here for now. I think Oscar won't really have a problem here. Suppose I could go. Oh, that's interesting. I'm betting they won't do it. Uh, they've already they've got claims on it, so they wouldn't give me Trent. I think we'll just stay home. Prestige half price level three. We're not going to take the the level three dude. Even half price is going to be too much. I don't care about making England happy, so we'll just take the prestige. We have apocalyptically low legitimacy. How are you doing? You're only at 63 still. I'm not going to do this twice. I'm not going to do this again. So annoying. We still have the place relative on the throne penalty, but we're no longer getting the bonus from it. So, in hindsight, it was a mistake. But, I mean, how do you know that, right? How do you know you're going to get a... Uh... I guess my heir would have been of a different dynasty. I guess I knew, could have known it was coming. I didn't realize it was a different dynasty, I suppose. Astra starting more wars. Succession war! On Denmark, which is huge. Ah. Uh... Who are you fighting against for the uh, succession? Just Denmark? Oh, Denmark, Sweden, Bavaria, and Sligo. That actually, they may have not chosen to get into that war, right? It may have just triggered because of decisions made. Well, I guess a pop-up, I think they, they choose whether to fight for it or not. Or maybe they inherited it and someone else chose to fight for it. I don't, I don't know which, which side is which in those inheritance wars. Alright, you pieced out Trent, which is the only person I was considering maybe going after. So, I think that means I can... I mean, there's no one nearby. Let's just drop these again. Um, keep drilling. I just may as well. One thing with the, the drilling is it does, you know, it gives me the professionalism, which means later on when I need manpower, I can always slack in recruiting standards, and of course there's some other bonuses to having a high amount over there. Okay, new Diplo person. Sure, we'll take the trade advisor. This is a full price level two dudes, so let's not go that way. Gold found in Bellum. Well, good for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little salty. We'd be fine with Milan right now. Uh, oh, Burgundy, we are going to fabricate claims on Franche Comte. I'll, I'll stop building here because I just wanted to technically have one available. I think what I might do is try to bring this up again. Just for a little bit. Still early enough that, like, even the, the point ones, even on taxation, it'll pay for itself. Um, barracks. Did we have a build a barracks mission? Oh, no, we have the um, the gain diplorep mission, which is going to be fine. We can invest in dynamic court, which, yeah. Our tech is, we're not going to worry, we're not going to fall out of sync with our tech and therefore start to gain corruption for no good reason. So I think developing the ideas is a great <clears throat> idea. I mean, we're not dying from the missionary strength or the institution spread, but finishing innovative ideas is pretty good. And then, well, yeah, unlock an excellent policy for us. Provence declares war in Burgundy. Conquest. Hmm. And one day we'll have to turn on France. But I think I'd rather... I'm going to keep working in the Italian region first. Uh, so this is prestige if we convert people, but we're not really doing much in the way of conversions. I think we might do ship trade power propagation here. Or, you know what? We don't know when we're going to start a war, but at some point we will. Let's take the decreased cost versus other religions, because we're mostly going to be going after uh, um, some Catholic stuff over here. Oh, that's the wrong tab. I'm like, why are these colors not looking the way I'm, I'm, I wanted? Because I hit the wrong hotkey. Um, I mean, more power points is good. Tradition is amazing. This is not a lot of admin, though we can use it more than anything, really. But it also has government reform progress, and I think that makes the top one fine. Oh, there you go. We can level up our government. Uh. Oh, no, I can level... Wait. I can upgrade my government form. 
Stronger bonuses, reduced number of years, you must wait to change your national focus. Um, I don't think there's any reason why we wouldn't want to level up our government. Is there? I don't think so. No. It, and it's just like tag switching. It's a button, therefore I must hit it. Now, if this invalidated certain decisions because, you know, the we're, we're a kingdom. There's duchy over there, but... Oh, I was looking at Milan. That's why. Yeah, we are properly a kingdom here, which does give us quite a few bonuses. Okay, we are pretty low here. Low legitimacy is part of it. Annex subjects. Oh, and we don't have the plus one dude anymore. I mean, we weren't going to finish that mission until we got rid of annex subjects regardless. But yeah. Um, yes, Castile. Absolutely want to keep a stay royal married to you. I wonder if it's time to break with the Pope. What kind of alliances do you have? Ah, Castile. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. Because it's almost like Castile would have to be in a war that we're not in a No, I guess it doesn't matter, even if we're in a war together. Yeah, I need to be in a war on the side with Castile so I can start something against the Pape. Let's dissolve this alliance right away. Start the cooldown going with the truce. Um... Okay, it's not it's not me. A battle will start here, but not a battle with me. Oh, that scared the crap out of me since I had no morale over there. Um, I think... Well, actually, we're capped on prestige. I guess we'll do that. Holy cow. How quick did that happen? Can I placate a couple of times? Because I know we start losing the minus 10% over time, so we don't want to do it too early. Yeah, we're not going to hit any of those buttons. Don't tink. Um, we might be able to get our opinion. We only need 2%. Well, I mean, some things are going to burn away. The trust is going up. The opinion is basically where it is going to be. Not much I can do there. Uh, relative power of all vassals. I mean, can I increase my, uh, my troop count? That might help to flip them over the edge. Okay, I'm going to put a cut in here. Hey, welcome to the kingdom of Savoy. Woohoo! Um, I have, I mean, manpower cap. It's the coalition situation. Still, again, there's not that many super strong dudes. There's a lot of small dudes that might be willing to join in. But the, the big ones, everything's been reset. So starting something again soon might be okay. Um, and we do have, you know, perma claims over quite a lot of stuff. Breaking truce, yeah. Do we have anything on Naples? And can we? Uh, no, we don't share a sea zone with them, so I don't think... And technically, you are you're allied to France, which is awkward. Fabricate claims. Yeah, nothing there. Because it would be nice to maybe sneak one in there. Of course, Aragon, your junior partner with Castile. So the problem is, both France and Castile long-term, we may not want to be friends with. And the question is, who can we be friends with to balance that out? Um, the religious situation might be a little tricky, like... Poland's big enough, you know, Poland, Lithuania, uh, the Ottomans, although it's possible we can get something going here. I mean, the Ottomans aren't interested now, but it doesn't mean that they wouldn't necessarily be long term. We did get the extra diplomat from changing our kingdom thing, which is good. Let's go. So threatening countries are big countries. Let's work on them because we may discover all of a sudden that we can get something going on once we replace some of the big ones over here, but... Short term, that's obviously a pretty big power move to hold on to this block here. Um, and especially as we keep working on sort of Italian HRE territory. Use them maybe as long as we can as a shield while we expand this way. And then turn around the other way long term. Alright folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>